Welcome back. I'm your host, uh, That's Admirable, and I'm here with, uh, man, I'm Frank Laporte, man. Am I a musician? No, I am not a musician. I have taken, uh, I have tried to play, so during my childhood, uh, I've tried, okay, your message, you said because I've never responded to your messages. Your messages, like, your messages are actually hilarious. So these are, these are the messages I got from my buddy, my buddy, That's Admirable, this weekend. Are you ready? <clears throat> uh, RGR, I don't know what that means. Let me know if you want to chill later. Okay. And then at 2.36 on the 3rd, I believe that was a Thursday. Uh, that was Saturday. He said, where are you at? I said, I'm at the Denny's. I'm heading over soon. Okay. Uh, which would have been 11.43, right? I think it was, I think it was earlier. No, it would have been 10.43 because of Daylight Savings. And then he never responds. I'm like, Denny's heading over soon. No response. The next day, I'm at the Hilton. That's the only message I get. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. So I was just like, huh. How are you gonna how are you gonna be like because you never responded to my messages? I responded twice on Saturday. Never heard back. And then on Friday, you or on Sunday, you sent me this random message that says, like, I'm at the Hilton. I was just like, all right, well, that's cool. <laughs> oh, was the, that, was the, I'm at the Hilton message from Saturday. It just didn't go through. Cause that would make more sense. Yep. That would make total sense then. Yeah. I didn't get that till the next day. And I was like, well, that's a completely random thing to say. Uh, so we could go Inferno Titan, which is pretty strong in regular cube, let alone but I was also at the Hilton at that point. Well, that's good. At least it was uh, still true. That's nice. Or we can take a Nicol Bolas. Bolas seems harder to cast because this does not seem like a format that easily supports four, three colors. There's not that many lands. So I'm kind of just leaning towards Inferno Titan. And there's a bunch of good stuff that can come back in this pack. What do we can get? Maybe Liliana, Fel Spectre, Macabre Waltz, Triskelion, Fiery Impulse. There's a bunch of stuff. This pack's pretty good. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take Inferno Tights. So I just let it rip. I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna tell him about the Hilton, and then I'm gonna leave it at that. And if he wants to come at me at the Hilton, that's cool. But if not, that's cool too. I forgot you're headed to BlizzCon over the weekend. If I remember, I would have given you some food recommendations. I live oh, that would have been awesome. We could have also, we could have just met somewhere and got some grub. Probably Chandra's Phoenix here, right? Unless we want to go red green and take this Hornet Queen. McCall Waltz, that deck was blind. Yeah, it was. Uh, so when when you had a when you had a Squadron Hawk mirror match, you were doing the McCall Waltz. That's basically how that worked. We could also just take Languish. I like Languish here a lot. I'm also, Black Red seems fun. Pyroclasm's good, but I think Languish, there's a lot more creatures that you want to Languish away. I'm going to take Languish. Ooh, a Bogarden Hellkite. And a Necromancer. Oh, a Soul of Theros. So this guy can make himself a, an 8-8 with First Strike Lifelink. It's pretty good. Uh, or it could just be Icy Manipulator again. What kind of cube is this? This is a, a corset cube, which means only cards from corsets are in it, uh, which you would think would kind of be pretty boring, but it's actually been pretty on point. I'm actually uh, pleasantly surprised with it. I like Bogart and Hellkite. I like Icy Manipulator. M Man Manips. Uh, is Icy just too good to ever pass? It might be. I think Icy is probably better. I don't know if I'm committing to black. Do you like breakfast burritos? I do, but keep in mind I don't eat much meat. So you just keep that in mind. I sold some deals today for the first time in the month. I'm very happy I almost saw off in time. Man, Llama Glyph killing it today. Oh, Staff of Nin? Ooh, that's a good one. I also like uh I also like charcoal diamond. 
However, I still don't know if we're black. So I'm going to take the staff of Nin. Call it a day. Eggs, patats, and cheese with salsa guac and sour cream. Yeah, that's still pretty good. I'll take that. Their breakfast burritos the size of babies? Oh, boy. I'm in. I once told Frankie to try the bacon something something, and he told me he didn't really get the bacon craze, and I slapped the person sitting behind him. Wow. I don't remember you doing this, but I feel like it's definitely something. You know my favorite memory is when we were in the hotel room, and you flipped a bottle totally unintentionally, and it landed upside down in my shoe that was on the bed. That's probably my favorite moment. Soren's Vengeance could be very good. I want to take Soren's Vengeance. God, I wish I was able to record that somehow. Like, if I knew, man. But, like, you were just like this. It popped off the floor, popped up onto the bed. Like, there were two beds. Nathan was on one and I was on the other. And he had this water bottle. And my shoe was just sitting on the bed next to me. And he just tosses the water bottle. It hits the ground. Pops off the ground into the shoe and it like perfectly fits and it was just the most amazing thing I'd ever seen it was this thing where like he could never do it again if he wanted in a million years but it was incredible at the time 2-2 two, two for 5 when enters the battlefield it's hard to find reveals their hand you may cast an instant sorcery without paying some mana cost that's intriguing I don't think I want another 6 drop wow return up to 3 creatures this seems like a good one it also sits in the graveyard I like a 2 drop I'm probably just going to take this guy how much damage can we deal? We can go like Soren's Vengeance into Inferno, into Inferno Titan. I'm probably going to take this Soul of Innistrad. And I, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm going to take Soul of Innistrad. There's a lot of 6 drops and a 7 drop. It was like that scene in The Simpsons where the ranger throws his hat on the ground and bounces. Like, <laughs> now why does that only happen when nobody's looking? Oh, man. I'll take Necrotal here. Actually, now we might not even be red. No, this guy's good enough to be red. I'll be red. Ravariar, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Oh, Terror is very good, but Dragon Skull Summit is on. Diamonds are in the cube. Yes, we actually just passed one. 11 months in a row. Really appreciate it. My vote for best hair and beard. In the wow, that is uh, that is quite the compliment. I appreciate it. I do take pride in my appearance. Or I try to, anyway. I think we can get more Terror-like. I'm going to take the Dragon Skull Summit. Dark Steel Idiot. Flavor text. Stop doing stuff. Oh my, oh my god, the Nicol Bolas came back. Oh god, is this even, is this even castable? Oh yeah, that terror art's great. It's real creepy, but it's really good. I don't think I want the Liliana. I think I just want the Nicol Bolas. Oh, it's so greedy. Oh god, it's fine. Actually... We can just deal a lot of damage with things like Gutter Snipe, Bogard, and Hellkite. I'm going to take the Bogard and Hellkite here. Fling? Alright. And I'm going to try... Uh, Bone Dragon seems alright. I'm going to try to deal as much damage as I possibly can. Cryptor. Oh, Inferno came back? Oh my god. Can we just deal like a million damage? Too many six drops? Correct. That is accurate. Too many six drops. Takes Bogard and Hellkite. Yeah, but it's an eight drop, nerd. I'm also going to aggressively take ramp here, so... I see there is no ramp in this pack. 
This pack's also not even that great for us. Yeah, we Gucci. I, I think it's just dragon fodder. It blocks things. It's a card that goes to the graveyard for, like, Bone Dragon if we ever want to get that guy back. I don't like the double red commitment of Ember Holler. Um, no ramp should probably just take block worm. Yeah, I mean, we are we are one shy of having, uh, one seven drop shy of having enough six drops to, to match. So I feel like that is synergistic. We can also just take the Woodland Stream, which lets us cast both Nicol Bolas and helps the block worm, so. I think it's just dragon fodder. Sky Diamond. That's actually perfect. I'll take it. Sky Diamond is my James Bond theme burlesque. Wow, that's good. Uh, Dark Steel Ingot. Oh, Marble Diamond. That's not the one. That's not the diamond we're looking for. But Dark Steel Ingot is definitely. <laughs> <coughs> There's a Dark Steel Ingot and a Manolith in the same pack, and this is just strictly better than this one, right? I mean, I'm trying to find a reason why it wouldn't be, but I don't know it, so I'm just gonna take the Dark Steel Ingot. Oh, Drowned Catacomb. I don't know what this is. Dark creature gets plus one, plus one, death touch whenever a creature dealt damage by it dies. It's controller. Yeah, that's pretty good. Still going to take Drowned Catacomb here. MTGA starts doing well. MTGA develops like, shit, we got to pick up the pace. Improvements come. Do they really? I actually haven't noticed the, the improvements, but uh, that's probably just me overlooking them and not uh, a lack of them. I guess Dragon Egg is fine. It just blocks a thing. I'm not excited about it, but I'm also not excited about like Zombie Infestation or... I mean, I would love to see any improvements on Magic Online. Not to say it needs like... It's not to say it's like in some kind of like dire situation, but... Um, you know. It's a 1-4 with Death Touch. It's actually pretty good. It holds the ground pretty well. What up, give me the loot. Sphinx's Tutelage also did some work for us the other day. Uh, I, however, this is less of a controlly Sphinx's Tutelage deck. I don't like Consume Spirit because you can only use black mana for it, um, which makes it considerably less. Thank you. Uh, I think I'm leaning towards Grave Blade Marauder. I like Rise from the Grave, especially if the uh, What's it called? Came back the zombie infestation because then we can just discard something like Bogart and Hellkite and then return it. Probably just taking Searing Spear here. Blue to Noob, thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate the support. Like you do. Soren Markov. That's funny because we actually have the combo. <clears throat> uh, I think it's the only playable card in this pack, so I'm just going to take the Soren Markov. I don't know if we're going to be playing it. That's all of six drops. But we do have Dark Steel Ingot, a Sky Diamond so far, so that's not bad. I don't know if we're going to be playing Languish. It's not. It's kind of a non bow with things like Gutter Snipe and. Yeah, I like Markov, make your life total 10, Soren's Vengeance kill you. That's where you want to be in this format. Or in any format, really. Haven't you drafted that Soren like four times? Yeah, and it's actually very good every time. 
surprisingly good every single time. Hmm. The plot worm came back. People got no respect. Watch your language, you dark steel idiot. Wow, that is rude. I like ravenous rats. Just make them drop a dude. And by dude, I mean a card. Bloodfire sacrifice that deals six damage to each creature and each player. So this is just the creature equivalent of Inferno. Well, we have to play it now, right? Sorry, I'm stuck in a loop of trying to make this a thing. Stop trying to make Darksteel Idiot happen. It's not ha it's it's What well, I don't know how to finish that. I don't know how the rest of that goes. I forgot. Nightmare, touch moonglade, door to nothingness. What happened to the coin named Nerd name of Nerds Conclave? What is that? What is what is that from? Is that from us? I don't actually remember. <laughs> You're a dark steel idiot. Wow. It's never gonna happen. Okay, that's the end. Stop trying to make dark steel idiot happen. It's never gonna happen. Okay. <clears throat> Garrick Apex Predator. I wish we took that wood that wood fall glaive. I don't know what that's I did the glade. I don't know what it was called. I forgot. Whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. Oh, baby. Oh, that's exciting. That's a two-card combo. Whatever happened with the coined name, dude? No, we never made that happen, but I like it a lot. I'll gain 10 and then you'll lose 10 and then you'll lose another 10. Yeah, that's, we're going to take that and we're going to try to build around that bad boy. This is not a good Chandra. Mortivore, power times heals and recruit your cards in all graveyards. For a 4-4, four, four, that's not, or for a 4-mana guy, that's not terrible. I think I just want Sky Scanner here. We want cards that are going to kind of accelerate us into our bigger things and this kind of does that. We do have Mark in the sideboard, that is true. Oh, Doom Necromancer, return creature from the battlefield. Or to the battlefield. Earthquake. Druidic Satchel. If it's a non-creature on lane, you gain two life. Gain two deal two, that seems pretty good. I'm going to take the Satchel here. See, Admirable knows what's up. Probably not flinging, probably not playing Bloodfire Colossus. <clears throat> I'm not super high on Bone Dragon. I also love Satchel, and when it was legal, I actually wonder if I still have any of them. I actually bought a ton of Satchels on Magic Online because it felt like it was such good value. I only have four now, unfortunately, but I bought like a, I had like 50 of them on Magic Online, and I was like, if this card goes up to like a dollar, it's going to be gas. <clears throat> you think there's any plans to bring cube to MG Arena? Um, they definitely could. It's not out of the... Oh, Grave Pact. It's actually very good. At the beginning of your upkeep, if there are fewer than six creatures in your graveyard, sacrifice a creature. There's Battle for Destroy. Not. Yeah, this guy's actually very good. I like Grave Pact here. I think it's probably Grave Pact. Card's very strong. I could see Urborg tabling. I don't think it's a super high priority pick for a lot of people. Gutter Snipe is not looking too hot, especially when we have Languish. I like Dragon's Egg because it's kind of combos with Languish. <clears throat> uh, 
I like Disciple of Bolas a lot. Um, we don't have any many creatures to sacrifice to it, though, unfortunately. However, that being said, if we did manage to sacrifice one of these and we had Sanguine Bond out, that is a lot to, to go right, though. We could also just take an Ulcerate. Smash to Smithereen is also a pretty reasonable pick. I think it's either Disciple Smash or Ulcerate. I'm not sure which, though. I think I'm leaning towards Ulcerate. Hypnotic Spectre and Liliana Spectre in the same pack. Wow, this is a pretty easy pick. I would 100% take Hypnotic Spectre over the other one. We're not a Warp World deck, even though you, at least one person in the chat is going to say Warp World. Yeah, that's a great pickup. Magma Phoenix, what do you do? Deals three to each creature and player when it dies, and then you can just return it from the graveyard to your hand for five. That's actually one of the better Phoenix Phoenixes. Phoenixes. Is it possible that we actually just want to play not red and play black and or play play blue and and white instead, with like Spirit Link? Mash me! Thank you so much for the for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. <coughs> yeah, I don't think so. I'm just gonna take the Rager here. Demon of Death's Gate, Pyromancer, Black Cat, Mutilate. Mutilate actually seems pretty strong. I probably just want Black Cat here, actually. Oh, Graveborn Muse. That's a thing. All right, I'll take Graveborn Muse. Well, none of these cards are any good. Like, we'd only give up these. This is not a ton, ton to give up to play Mono Black, right? Also, Nantuko Shade gets a lot better. Mark of the Vampire with Sanguine Bond gets a lot better. We can play this Doom Necromancer if we wanted to. We don't need... Dark Seal Ingot or Sky Diamond. Is that better? I mean, Sanguine Bond even into Soren is like plus four, negative four. Or plus two, negative two, rather. Four point life swing, which is not bad. Mm, displacement wave. Brave the elements just in case we're white. Warp world. Got it anyway. All right. Interesting. All right, so now the question is, is this worth playing just mono black? I think it might be. It actually seems good. We didn't get any Black Matters cards like uh, Mutilate or or Nightmare, but that I think that's actually fine. This actually looks pretty good. Now I'm the one who feels dumb. It is now I who feel dumb. <clears throat> yeah, let's try this. Let's give it a go.
we have some card draw in the form of Sky Scanner, Staff of Nin, uh, and uh, Greyborn Muse, and Phyrexian Rager. We have Hypnotic Spectre to deal some, get rid of some things. We have some removal. We have Ulcerate, Languish. Watch your Languish. Necrotol Grave Pact is also good. Only 12 creatures, but it's snowing in Missouri. Two rocks and two free lands. I guess that's true. And we could play Darksteel Ingot and Charcoal and uh, Sky Diamond and play uh, Drowned Catacomb and Dragon Skull Summit. So. Mono decks have seemed good in this cube so far. I agree with you. I'm going to keep this hand. It's a little iffy, but we do get Ingot into Bone Dragon if we hit the land. <clears throat> Uh oh, mono black versus mono black. You guys know what's up. Give me a two drop. Give me an Antuco shade. They did not give that to me. All right, kill yourself. <laughs> God, it sounds so so bad when you say it like that. Oh, it lost the flip. Goodbye, Kaboomist. All right, so you got one landmine out of the deal. Oh, that's sad. Are you going to take my ingot? Yikes. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it's not great. <clears throat> that does give us a lot of... They have two cards, though. This guy's a 2-2 two -two as well. I thought this guy was a 1-1. One -one. That's even better. Also, Vulcan Boga's art is just so insane. Lee Good... Bone Dragon. We haven't done any memes today. Pretty, 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 pretty good. So I feel like we're in good shape against the Arsonist and the Landmine. Which is also the name of my uh, turn of the century novel about... Uh, oh, that! look at that guy. Look at this guy. Well, that's a dude, isn't it? He's just slightly too large for us. <clears throat> well, I can see why you did not want to uh, have us to uh, icy. <clears throat> I guess I'll take it because we're not blocking. Three cards, three cards. Nothing good, nothing good. All right. We don't have any life gain here, so Sanguine Sanguine Bond is uh, not going to do it for us. Let's just play Rager here. Might actually just block this turn, get it back with uh, Soul of Innistrad next turn. I think we have a turn to deal with it, though. Yeah, this seems fine. Because even if they can deal with the, the Bone Dragon, we can actually just get it back with this guy. So I think we're okay here. Probably dead, but I don't know. <clears throat> I would, however, like to get back... Uh, Soren's Vengeance here would be nice. Even if we don't get to kill them immediately, we just get the Soren's Vengeance and gain 10. And uh, you know how it goes. Goblin Nabobums. I see. Well then. <sighs> that sure was something, wasn't it, guys? If we had not cast the Phyrexian Rager, would have been alive. For how long? I don't know. They had to have duress for Icy. They had to have... Yeah, we'll keep this in. <clears throat> Definitely felt like they had to have some pretty... Uh...
pretty I'm pretty sure Stunlock is a sub. Oh, it's discard at random. That's interesting. Shut up and take my money. What happened? Did someone say memes? Hungry Howie's Howie Bot. Hagen loves Cajun. Diablo Queen. Blizzard Convention. Honesty Stream. Choosy Moms. Choose GIF. Damn Boy. Sad Crins. Ketchup. Catsup. Which information campaign? Disinformation campaign. I think that was well worth it for $1. Sure. I'll get behind that. <clears throat> that was good. It's very good. It's uh, very good. Uh, what's the what's better, having a sky scanner out or actually dark steel ingoting? Well, sky scanner. Uh, this is corset cube draft, not just regular draft. Not just a regular draft. Oh, that's gonna help. That Urborg is helpful. You're crazy, man. Too much. <laughs> yeah, I'm going a little going a little crazy today here. Alright, so. Not super excited about these gentlemen. Thank you. Hail dog, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Seven months in a row, my god. God, we look how far we've come in seven months. And Kaboomus died. This queue has been a blast. I have been having quite quite a good time with it. Uh, we do get to draw two cards here, though, which is nice. Neither of which really protects us from this guy, though, unfortunately. Let's put a rat out there. A ratty boy. Oh, ratty boy. And... Uh, this guy. I'm going to get in there with this guy because I don't think you're going to block. Seems pretty risky. I'm about to bust. How is Demon of Catastrophe so good against us? It's actually unbelievable. I'm pretty sure we're just losing this whole match to Demon of Catastrophes. That was fascinating. So what do we have Necrotol and Languish as like removal spells? Oh, that that's helpful. Oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. So we got four. I think we're just marking and Nantuko shading here. God, I would love to put it on this guy, but I don't like our I don't like the odds of us of, of that happening. God, do we just have to? We could always block, but then we no. Actually, we 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 take two and then. Oh boy! Oh boy! Guess we're attacking with all because they have no real. We don't have any profitable blocks from this Demon of Catastrophes, so. Uh, I'd rather put it on Soul of Innistrad than Nantuko Shade. Don't kill my Greyborn Muse. It's a 5-5. You already used your Goblin Grenade. <clears throat> All right, good. Excellent. Oh, no attacks, huh? Do we just win here? They take five. They block. They have to block here. They take another three. So we gain five. We go to 18, which means they go to five. They block here, and then they take one, two, three. And then they shoot probably the rats just for the hell of it. Uh-uh. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> this is only a, an attacking creature, right? I mean, might as well force them to uh, to either block or take a million. So. And pump. And pump. This is fine. <clears throat> so we get rid of a landmine and we also get rid of a goblin kaboomist. Or a squee, rather. So. I mean, also, <clears throat> if we just top deck Soren's Vengeance, that's pretty lethal as well. Yep. Goblin Grenade being in the graveyard is nice. Soren's Vengeance. Languish, huh? So this is five. This is three. We can't do both. We probably want to get some life this turn. Oh, we can't do all the things we want to do here, unfortunately. <clears throat> we could just wipe the board. Isn't Bond just game? No, not really. Because they block here with the 6-6. Six, six. Uh, we gain life, so we gain 5, and then they take, take, take 5. I mean, it might be if we attack with everything. Because they are tapped out, so they go block, block, they take 1, 2, 3. No, it's not game. Turn eight, five, and then surprisingly a lot of things we can do here. Well, most sets are in one of things now. I'm just trying to figure out the best option here. So they go block here. Block Shade, block Necromancer. They take one, two, three, and they take five. They go to two. And then we get to just play this next turn. I think that's actually fine. Oh, we actually might not gain the life with the Satchel, though. Mm. That is something to consider. Block there. All right. Block here. Figured as much. And block Necromancer. Sure. So you take 8,000 damage. And I do want to pump this, <clears throat> which makes me wish I played the ingot first. But I think this is still fine. Actually, we don't need the mana next turn. So yeah, we'll pump this guy. Nantuko Shade's pretty strong. Plus they're at two, so like, we have a lot of guys on the board. Yep, killed the Necromancer. That's fine. Okay, pass. <clears throat> I think this is still good. I almost want to like switch into the red deck because we just have more we, we have surprisingly more ways to deal with the 6-6 six, six with the red cards than we do with the black cards this art is fantastic as well interesting <clears throat> 
Okay, so just a bunch of just a bunch of nerds. <laughs> oh yeah, let's just do that. I'm actually tempted to board the sin because we have a bunch of things that can block the demon and not much that can actually uh like if we like it turns sky scanner into like lethal. But da 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 I wish I had some more lands here. Can't keep seven drop, six drop, five drop, four drop, three drop, three drop. Not with one land anyway. Yeah, this is much better. Alright. Yep, we'll keep that guy too. Okay, well, that's a dude. That's a dude. So now we've uh we've both mulliganed, so that's nice. Oh, they did not do anything, and Kaboomus killed himself yet again. Um, is it Inga to guarantee the Grave Pack? I think it's actually Rager here. Because our odds of hitting a land is pretty high. They only have three cards. Did they mulligan this game? They did not mulligan? How is that possible? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Interesting. I like this better. I want to be able to guarantee playing a 4-drop next turn. Well, I think I can. Um, I want to keep this guy back because if they want to use Landmine on it, uh, I don't feel great about that when we don't have... We can just wait till next turn and have a Grave packed out. That is unfortunate, but I'm definitely discarding Necrotal here. Let's play a Grave Pact. No blocks. Goblin King. Goblin King said there'd be days like this. There'd be days like this. Goblin King said. Goblin King. Goblin King. I'm probably just going to pass and kill the Fell Spectre with the Ulcerate. Not ideal, but... Like, we're going to take three damage from this guy anyway It's <clears throat> at some point, and I don't really feel like the creatures on board are super big of a deal for us. Super big of a deal for us. That's uh, that's some English for you right there. These are not super big of a deal for us. Thank you. The Gaming Champ, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. 
Uf. I really don't have any reason not to attack here. Like, if they want to attack us, we can just pretty easily block. So... Generator Servant. They have two cards. We just have to hope we hit a land or something we can play that's relevant before land. Oh, that's so good. Let's kill this guy. You're going to scry. That's fine. I accept. I will pass the turn. After I attack, I guess. With haste no longer an option. Mini simulation. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Good stuff. That's a good time. Also, if you guys are watching and you want to support the channel, feel free to subscribe or follow. Both of those are helpful. They put a card on the bottom, so this is just a random thing. 2-2 two, two Mountain Walking Squee. Uh, Alright. Deal. I accept. Yeah, that seems fine. Oof. So good. Let's kill this guy. Subscribe. I'm about to leave for the night. Talk like a Jewish girl for the next 30 seconds. Oh, Elk Tears, where are you going tonight? Oh, I'm so worried about you walking around the streets of New York in your, in your fancy hipster shoes. Oh, God. I don't understand you kids. Uh, it's so... I don't want to attack here. If they have, like, Threaten or something, it's pretty bad when they have Soul of Innistrad. Because they can, like, threaten our guy, throw him all, everything at us, and then goblin grenade us, and that's not ideal. Oh, God. You, you're living in the, the, the fancy, the big city. You never call. You never write. Oh, it's the demon of catastrophes. Oh, this is a catastrophe. I just want a way to kill one of my own creatures here, but I don't even have that. Uh, this ability costs five. Actually, we can play this get ravenous rats and shoot our own ravenous rats back oh god it's gonna be the best play ever do you see oh my god mark of the vampire on this guy and sanguine bond they have to block Woo! but then they can just shoot this guy so let's let's stick, stick with our original plan which would be target these two Play ratty. Rat-a-tat-tat. -tat. Make them discard. This is a this is a pretty good situation. Shoot our own ratty. Grave pacty. And uh Yeah, that's pretty good. We have no reason to attack with this guy because they can actually kill it. Uh and I'd much rather save it for when they have a guy on board to grave pact. So if we put Mark on here, they would just block with their 6-6. Their six, six. Um, we don't have Bond out yet. So they would just block with their 6-6 six, six and then shoot this guy for two. Which is a good... I mean, it's a demon... And, yeah, it's not even... That's not, that's not a great trade. Demon and a landmine for a soul and a Mark of the Vampire is not ideal. 
Hodge Goulashi, Cube Life. Pretty all right. I'm okay with it. Hunter, what are you doing? Get your life together. I think there's I think they're typing something to us. This is usually what the pause means. Like if there's a if there's a long a long pause before the uh before the games are over. Shoot a rat, kill a demon. That's the special we have going this week. Uh, you guys come on in. And uh, for half price, you can shoot a rat and kill a demon. Tell your friends. Oh, maybe not. Fleshbag Marauder. Say this is another reason. Like, if they actually shot this guy, we would only have Phyrexian Rager. Uh, we only have Soul of Innistrad in place, so. Actually, 7 8. If we hit a land, we can go Sanguine Bond Mark, and it would be. Actually, we still win, right? Oh, I just want to. I want to do it for the memes. Let me do it for the memes. Come on, play the thing. Click the button. Oh, why? I didn't even have I didn't even have life thing. Oh, dang it. I wanted the memes so bad. Ah, well, that was a good game. We had a good time. I keep getting notifications on my phone. Pre-game Lyle Live, Panthers versus Steelers. And I'm like, I don't care about football. Why are you sending me this? I have absolutely no idea why you would send me this. Oh, God. I wish I don't know how to turn it off because I don't actually know the app it's coming from. I think it's coming from it said Prime Video, so... I didn't know that was a thing, but, uh... Thank you. Stunlock, welcome back, buddy. Thanks so much. Really appreciate the sub. Welcome, welcome. Good games, by the way. Good games. I was so sad that you conceded and didn't let me, uh... Didn't let me... Didn't let me live the, the meme dream. I will keep this hand. Oh, we're playing against Terry Bogard of, uh... King of the King of Fighters himself. It's not even an ad. It's actually just a phone app that's telling me about like stuff. Okay, another red deck. If we can hit land, land, I think this game is actually in in our hands. Man, double mono red decks. The red decks are the the mono colored decks are surprisingly good. Oh, this is this is a nail in the coffin right here. Grave, grave, gra three of the cards in my hand have the word grave in them. That's on brand. My deck was confused. Now it seemed like it was it had a good aggressive game. Like it had, you were able to deal a lot of damage, and Demon of Catastrophe is actually surprisingly hard to deal with. A six-six black creature lines up very well against the black decks because you have like Terror and Doomblade, and you're just like, you can't target this thing. You have Languish and Mutilate, can't can't really kill this thing. You have Necrotal, can't kill this thing. Edgiest deck NA, <laughs> yeah. Oh man. I like to have picnics in graveyards. Land. Oh, thank you. Okay, so if we play this, we were unable to block. So we might as well... Wait, they lose half their life? Oh, equal to the number of... They lose life equal to the number of creature cards in our graveyard. That's less exciting. I want to play this because I think it does a better job. They're going to make sure it can't attack anyway. Or can't block anyway, so... Might as well take 57 damage here. I need the clip if it's not a phase. Does it still exist? Can someone at least give me the date of it? Yeah, you can... I posted on Facebook recently. Wow. 
I'm going to find it for you. I found it for you. Dang it. Whatever. Biscuits. What do we take? Eight damage and they exquisite firecraft at our guy? Well, that's... I think we're just dead, right? They attack with everything. This guy is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then they shoot us for one. Yeah, we're dead. Stumbled on land one turn, and that's that's how it works. I almost like sky diamond just as a way to ramp like colorless. Yeah, I kind of like that. I'm just gonna go to forty-one. I don't even care. Oh, do, do, do. I'm going to play first and maybe wait some land. This is actually fine. Let Mark of the Vampire and Languish seem great. So long as we can hit land, land, right? Chat, what should I have for dinner? We're at that point again. Where daddy's got to eat. Oh, daddy has to eat, you see. Mm, yes. Me undies arrive on Monday. Ooh, that's exciting. Hungry Howie is not a bad option. Oh, God. Combo. We've got the com If we can draw five more lands, I'd be totally fine with this. So I've been eating leftover pasta for the past couple days. Uh, last night, what I have for dinner? We had... What did we have? I was at Chipotle last night. Okay. I will definitely block if you attack. Definitely. Okay, they didn't attack. Land, land, land. That's not a land. This is how we died. We missed our lands both games. This is just game. This is round two, right? There's still one more round of that. Chili's? I don't want to go to Chili's by myself. Also, the Thai restaurant I go to closes at 8, which is in 18 minutes. So not ideal. Well, that's rough. How many Goblin Kings do I have to play against in this draft? Although, don't get me wrong. I appreciate these suggestions. Just because I'm turning them down. Arby's could be good. I haven't been to Arby's in a while. I'm actually a big Arby's fan. I think their quality is not bad. I think Adam Arby's gets a bad rep. And their advertising is on point, man. All right, we need one more land. <laughs> fried turkey stuff? I don't even know what that is. Arby's marketing is. I'm so hungry I could eat at Arby's. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's gas. That's good stuff. Oh god, do I jump here? Probably because if we hit a land, we're just languishing. Yeah, all right. Yikes. Play something good that I can kill. That's good. Land, 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 land. Yes! Languish, yes! Nailed it. I'm so hungry, I could eat at Arby's. I think Arby's used to be like... Shitty roast beef sandwiches, but now they're like I think they've upped their their sandwich quality game. Like they have like good breads and good meats and stuff. Come on, Arby's. You know what's up. Oh, that's that's Bone Daddy. We don't have anything to play here. I'm just gonna activate this guy. Oh, that was a good one. So they got one power on board? Alright. Curly fries are good. I also, I'm a big fan, so when I used to eat beef, uh, I liked their beef and cheddars. So now that I don't eat red meat, or much meat, 
I get their turkey and cheddars, which are similar but different. Uh, whenever an opponent is dealt damage by red instant or sorcery control, you get it back. Battlefield or graveyard hand. Okay, cool. Sounds good. <sighs> Probably just gonna play bone dragon here because next turn, if we can mark of the vampire, this guy, then we got a a dragon skeleton vampire, and that's really all I want. Why doesn't this make their creature type vampire? Okay, well that was that was that was juvenile. You're a child. Um, <laughs> do we just sanguine bond here? And then if we hit a land next turn, we win the game. Heavy breathing. Can't get blood from bone. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Or from a stone, as the saying goes. Don't kill me with the sixth, the sixth thing. All right, one time. One time. One time. Well, that's unfortunate. They have one card. We're not dead. I definitely want to kill this guy. All right. Well, with Satchel, we have a chance to both gain life, make a blocker, or put a land into play, which means we have to survive just this turn. What could go wrong? Oh, uh, idiot. We have stoked the flames, you see. <laughs> yes. This is where they kill us in response. Oh, we gained two. Awesome. But we know we're drawing an ulcerate, which is sad. We could... They didn't... No, they just sacked this to kill this guy, I guess. But now we can Icy Manipulator, so we got Icy Manips. We got the Manips. It's time to Manips. Man, this seventh land is really, uh, really evasive. Come on, one time. 17, yeah. Kind of, it's kind of where we want to be, but it's not yet. Next turn, all right. Next turn, we got we got to survive one more turn, I guess. Whew, I guess we can play cat here. No, if we play cat, uh, then we can't. I want a druid, druidic satchel just to gain the life if we really need it. Come on, come on. Don't do something scary. Okay, that's fine. It's not scary. They have one card in hand. Are you going up or down? Up or down? Down. Okay. We're at five. Tap this down. And... Attack so they can't actually cast... If we get a 1-1, one, one, we just want to block. Ooh, gain. Yeah, this is this is going to be it. Are you guys ready? Pretty, 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 pretty. Got him. <sighs> like you do. I'm about to bust. I almost don't like the the ulcerate in here because it's very, very damaging. I think her deck seems fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna submit. Hey, 
Thank you. Zedre, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. I will definitely keep this hand. Also right to take care of early dudes. Rudic Satchel will give us a million advantages. Oh, yes. No, oh, this hand is great. Mark of the Vampire. Uh, on a big enough dude to do some to, to do some life gaining. Yeah, I'm definitely killing this guy immediately. Playing this instead because if we hit a land, we can druid, druidic satchel and activate. And it's just a better use of mana. Alternatively, we could have played Necromancer, but it's not great on this board. I am a little scared of them having Mentor of the Meek and then just running away with the game here. I guess we could hit a Languish. I really just want to hit a land so we can druidic satchel every turn because the advantage druidic satchel provides is pretty good. Uh, gross. Land. <sighs> Crying out loud, it's so bad. I guess it's Satchel and tap a guy. That seems all right. Ah, just drawing a card for every single creature is just brutal. Okay, they didn't draw one for that guy. Languish off the top? Thank you. Grave Pact. Yep, see, this is where we get, like, this is kind of sad because we're just getting stuck on land here. Chase Shinners, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Like, I feel like if we hit land that turn and just play Bone Dragon, like, we're very, very far ahead, especially if we can keep it into Mark of the Vampire, but, like, as it stands, like, drawing Grave Pack next turn doesn't do anything for us. Wow. And they get to draw a card off that. Yeah, even a 1-1 one -one would have been, yeah, like, this is brutal. Thank you. Hajigulashi, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Really appreciate it. 21 gifted subs is pretty ridiculous. You are the man. Still going to play this because if we hit a land. Wow. Sanguine Bond. Yep, we're just dead here because, like, they have a million guys. We draw a Sanguine Bond, which doesn't do anything. And, yeah, like, if we didn't miss three land drops in this game i think it's a totally different game but yeah literally no lands coming up for so, wow several turns yikes all right well what can you do keep this hand any land is good i think we can make it work i think we can do it i believe in us i believe and we did it all right so now we just have to survive
two drop. This deck might actually want the charcoal diamond. I'm not sure. We have lands. Actually, I definitely want to play this on five, so I'm going to play Darksteel Ingot. Against the blue deck, I feel like getting Sanguine Bong down as fast as I can. Grave Pazact. We're just going to play Bond here. I could play a Sky Sander, but... I'd rather just get Bond down because I don't really want to. If we draw, like, Soren's Vengeance, I just want to be able to play it. Have you watched Final Space? I don't even know what that is. So the answer is nay. Nay, I have not watched La Final Space. I wonder where the closest Arby's is. I think it's on Gulf to Bay. I guess I'll just play this guy. And they'll counter it. I'm sure they'll counter it, but that's fine. Oh, they did not counter it. Oh, final space is sweet. All right, so multiple fuel for final space. That's pretty good. Ice Age mini skeletons or full art. I'm a big fan of the Ice Age mini skeletons art. I think it's just, is it just one skeleton? I think it's just one skeleton getting incinerate. I'm going to check though. Uh, fireball for six. Okay. Oh, no, I'm not thinking of that one. I'm thinking of. No, no, no. That's not my favorite. Hold on. Hold on. I like the Mirage one. I'm thinking of the Mirage one with one skeleton. That's my favorite incinerate art, which is like this. Actually, we'll play Sky Scanner, try to hit a land, and then we can play Grave Pact afterward. It was a bone dragon. They have three cards in hand. It's not terrible. They can exile our Bone Draggy. I mean, they're probably just going to exile Bone Dragon, I would imagine. Eh, hey, what can you do, you know? Sometimes you got to exile the Bone Dragon. This does not seem like a Languish or a Grave Pack matchup. Yep, yeah, see you later, Bone Dragon. However, we are in a position where if we top deck a sweet, sweet Soren's Vengeance, we just win the game. Barring any kind of counterspell shenanigans. What does this guy do? Get back Fireball? Okay. Sure. I will pay for your mana leaked. Mana leaked, mana leak, mana leaked.
want to play this. Maybe they tap out and fireball both of these, which is fine. We can get both of them back with Soul of Innistrad in the graveyard. We also have a lot of sweet art with enchantments going on here. Cone of Flame, also good. Soren's Vengeance. Dang it, Soren's Vengeance. So I have no incentive not to do this right now. So, one, two. Can it target itself? <laughs> Hold on. One, two, three. I don't know if that works. Does it say three other uh, return of three target creature cards from your your hand? I don't think it can. It should be able to target at least, right? I'm going to play land first. I don't really want to get force spiked here. Oh, an ulcerate. Gotta keep them ulcerated. Hey, hey, don't pay no mind. The beginning of your upkeep, if you control an artifact, create a 1 1 colorless Thopter. Yeah, that card's pretty insane. Oh, yeah, I'm aware you can't target it, like, to return itself. I know it's never going to return itself. But as far as the rules go, uh, you should be able to target it. Because the, the card itself is not aware um, that it's not a legal target or that it won't be upon resolution. Does that make sense? So we're going to actually do this during upkeep because if it's a land, I don't really want to hit it. Because a land is the only card that doesn't get put into the hand, or uh, that, that doesn't stay on top of the library, right? So, um, if it's a land, we will not draw it, and it will go into play. How any other card, we, it'll just we'll get an effect, and we'll draw it, and we'll get play it afterwards. And it was a land, followed by a third land. That's wonderful. Whenever one of our artifacts, I'm just gonna probably languish here. I wish I had a way to get rid of the star compass. Like, they just don't have any artifacts outside of that, and, like, this is just turned off. Uh, right, but you have to choose the, the targets for the spell once you're paying the costs. Right, so... Or before you pay costs, maybe? I don't know. The point is, it's still in the graveyard when you're paying the... when you should do the thing and the stuff, so... Anyway... You get the point. You know what's happening. This would be great if we had some creatures. How many creatures are in this deck? It feels like not enough, but... What can you do? Oh, alright, there you go. Well, that's a blank. Yeah, we're going to keep doing this during upkeep because... It prevents us from drawing actual swamps. Soren Markov... Well, that's a bad dude. I 
that's pretty good. We can also set their life total to 10, but that just deals 4, whereas like Soren's ability, plus 1 ability, is also 4, so... They're probably just going to fireball Soren for six. That would be my guess. Yep. Like you do. Uh, Sanguine Bond doesn't count life loss, though. It counts life gain. But yes, it would count that because any life loss or life gain, changing life totals does count as life loss and life gain, so. Oh, destructive force in the graveyard. That's interesting. Soren's Vengeance, put the Soren cards back to back. Hippie, all right. This game is grueling. Volcanic Hammer to the Hypnotic Spectre deal. Cannot do anything about that. Sack a guy. I'm working so hard to kill these Thopters, man. Yep. Not drawing that. Am drawing that. Okay. So this is what? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 swamps. Yikes. This is actually a decent clock if they're unable to kill this guy. Because it's... Yep, then they're able to kill it. Wow, what is this? What the freak? <laughs> wow. Sure. He does not survive. I didn't know that was an instant. Goodbye. I know it carries over. Dang, Alan Beck. Oh, no, we didn't. Ah, uh, that's fine. Let's see what your last card is. Hope it's a good one. Oh, it was a good one. God, they get to draw a card from this Thopter, though. Is there any way we can prevent that? Probably not. Well, we get two activations of Druidic Satchel before the next... Uh, Ah, oh, you were talking, not talking to me. I gotcha. I gotcha. That's okay. We're just going to top deck. Uh... I don't know why they haven't, like, destructive forced yet. Like, they could have destructive forced, and we'd probably be way far behind. Our fingers are crossed for not a counter spell. Because I feel like. Alright, I, I have a good feeling about this. Uh this top card here you guys ready all right they're playing things sure what is it i don't know what it was oh great board muse okay
Yeah, we can just kill Jace. I don't think you need to be drawing more cards here. We've got a Rager on top, though. So they have one card. We take two. They get to draw another card. So we know we're drawing Rager here. I don't think we want a 1-1 one, one, though. So we're going to draw one. Druidic Satchel here. Oh, you're just going to kill me? Cool. I don't know why. You, I guess I guess because it could gain a life, sure. I guarantee you it's going to be the next card. Nope. Quite a ways away. All right. Well, that was good. Uh, I'm not sure if the black version is just going to be better. I mean, we didn't see Staff of Nin or Soren's Vengeance, like, Necrotal seems bad, Ulcerate also just seems bad. Spear seems good, Fodder seems good, Fling seems decent, Snipe seems okay, Titan seems good. Shade seems worse. Eh, Grave Pack doesn't seem great here. Probably take out like five of these. like seven one two three four this is actually seems fine we also have a dark steel ingot one more cut probably languish didn't actually have many creatures I don't like egg here. Eh, what are you going to do? Of course it's going to be in the opening hand. That's how you're saying. That's, I'll keep this hand. This hand's great. <sighs> These games have been so grindy. I guess they were a pretty grindy deck, so... Wait a mulligan, nerd. <laughs> Do 
And they do have destructive force, so that's pretty scary. That's a good one. Fodder is actually just better than uh, Dragon Egg here. We have five power on board. Pyroclasm. Chase's Sanctuary, sure. And if they go, they can go land destructive force, and it's pretty good. But catalog. Okay. a lot of mana it's a lot of mana um actually i like dragon egg here because it gives us some kind of insurance against something like well they're at six they could destructive force us, but then we get a dragon egg and they lose a lot of life there. If they do to keep Manolith and Sisay's ring. Oh, we just win the game. Well, that's pretty cool. Hey, win the game is pretty cool. I just want to keep my lands, that's all. Real tempted to play Nickel Boldus in this deck. Like, real tempted. Charcoal Diamond, Sky Diamond, and Drowned Catacombs. <sighs> this is a pretty easy addition. So I gotta cut like two cards here. Maybe Mark of the Vampire. Maybe it's a little too greedy. I don't know. But, like they only seem to have burn. And like if they actually can't burn one of our big guys out, then it's pretty okay. I'll take the black cat out. Let me take out Doom Necromancer. Four sources of blue. Catacombs, uh, Island, Dark Steel Ingot, and Sky Diamond. And we have all the Nicol Bolas mana. But this hand is relatively slow. It still has all the things we want. Like, Greyborn Muse is very good here. Their deck isn't super fast either, so. I'm pretty sure in this situation it's Rager into 
Greyborn Muse just because we want the body on the board. But now... Hmm. Our hand is actually great as long as we can stay alive. So we can we can go if we draw a land we can go ingot into dragon egg which is nice. Yep, three, two, one, fantastic. Ah, <sighs> seems good. Well, we did hit the land. One, two, three, four, five, six. So Inferno Titan next turn is the real deal, and it also doesn't die to Destructive Flow, which is pretty insane. All right. Boy, this this game is nuts. Uh, two and one. Also, Bogard and Hellkite coming down is pretty nice. Um, they could actually go Ravaging Blaze on the Inferno Titan, which is probably what they're going to do. Yep, they have exactly enough with Jace's Sanctum. Fireball for six. That is also very good. Yep. One land, we get to take care of Tezzeret, which is okay. Yep, now we get to take care of Tezzeret, which is okay. Definitely going to do this before they get to activate. I will not divide this in any way, shape, or form, my good friend. Yep, that seems fine. What is it? Uh, second artifact, draw a card. That's fine, you don't have that many artifacts. Psychic creature, return an artifact from your graveyard to your hand. I don't care about that. So you're probably going to second artifact and draw a card here. Okay. Create a white goat or discard. Yeah, sure, this is all fine. Sounds good. Soren's Vengeance off the top. We're still waiting for the Soren's Vengeance moment. Vengeance moment? Vengeance moment. That was a good draw. So now you get to draw two off that guy and prevent another five. Soren's Vengeance one time. We haven't seen any counter spells, I don't think. I don't think they can kill this guy. If they have Blaze, they can deal five, which would be like the perfect card in your hand. However, it does not seem like you have that. Also, this does dodge a lot of things. Wish it had trample, but alas. Well, they have three cards. So I have a feeling they just have the. Uh, Ravaging Blood Bond or whatever it is. Yep, here it is. Ravaging Blaze or whatever. Yep, never fails.
I don't think we should take nine because the target is gone. And the second part doesn't target us. It just deals it to the spell's controller, so. One, two, three, four, five. Still still can cast Soren's Vengeance if we hit if we get it. So Nope, that's not it. <sighs> Come on, buddy. I love just such an awesome chat. It makes watching much more fun. I agree. I my chat is probably the best. Probably the best. Rescue. Why don't you draw a card now so you can actually play something? Yeah, just draw the card now. Yep, all right, that's good. I would have also sacrificed that to draw another card, but... This was a good hit. Yeah, I would have definitely done this last turn if you're going to sacrifice Manolith. Yep, because then if you draw like Thopter Foundry, Thopter Spy Network, you would have been able to play it on your turn. And then you get a free spy. Yeah, us being able to draw two cards a turn should push us far enough ahead in this game to actually, you know, win. It upsets me how much better you are at this game than anybody. Why? Why would that upset you? Brian, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. That's crazy. Soren's Vengeance. I said Soren's Vengeance. Yeah, that guy's actually pretty good. Wow, we get back Inferno Titan Rage. Oh, boy. Oh boy, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're actually gonna play the land as well. Uh, so that if they try to kill this guy, we can get back three dudes in response. Yep, that's a pretty solid dude. We get Hellkite, Titan, and Greyborn Muse. Dear God. Mother of God. Okay, Searing Spear our face. That seems desperate, especially since you've already used Fireball and Ravaging Blaze. But, uh, what do I know? If you open a pack one door, nothing is going to live the meme dream even harder. Yeah, probably. I don't know what cards in this set uh, really are conducive to uh, door to nothingness, though. There doesn't seem to be a ton of lands. And there also isn't like a chromatic lantern, I don't think. Okay, go to 12. This is fascinating. Shoot your face. Let's get back Hellkite, Titan, and Graveborn Muse. This is a hell of a, hell of a draw. Soren's Vengeance. Soren's Vengeance. Where are the Soren's Vengeances? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have 12 mana, so we can do 8 and like... So 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1. So they have to block here. And they have one card in hand. Sure. So they're at nine. I'm just going to play Inferno Titan. It just kills them next turn anyway. Because we put them to six, then we can shoot them with uh, Staff of Nin, and then we have Bogart and Hellkite in hand. And if they do end up killing the Inferno Titan, we can get it and the Phyrexian Rager back. So this should put us in a winning position. I don't think they can deal us 12, unless they have a second Fireball. This is 11, 11 mana. Yep, that's not going to do it. Okay. 
Okay. We have a lot to deal with here, I think. I'm not going to get back guys, because then they can respond by killing Inferno Titan. Alright, I'm just going to... So you have to have an answer for both of these guys. And... The Bogarden Hellkite in my hand. Yeah, having multiple six sixes is pretty good when your when your plan is okay. So are you dead to Bogard and Hellkite? Do you have Essence Scatter? Is Essence Scatter the last card in your hand? Got him. Got him. That deck was sweet. And uh, I think the uh, the red and blue were helpful. Not necessary, but helpful. I'm not sure. Who knows? Thank you guys so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch and on Patreon. Both of the links are in the description below. If you want to support the stream, please feel free to subscribe to, to me on Twitch. Uh, definitely helps. That is the, uh, the full-time full time gig and Patreon helps as well if you want to throw a dollar or two there that's great helps me out every month and you can go to meundies.com slash Frank Lepore you'll get 15% off and you get free returns and free shipping and they are super comfortable micromodal underwear lounge pants onesies socks tees pretty much everything and they're awesome thank you guys so much for, for hanging out really appreciate it I will see you guys next time have a good night